In a groundbreaking investigative operation that spanned across six European Union nations, a stark reality has been brought to light. Over the course of the past summer and autumn, undercover operatives visited fur farms in Finland, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, Spain, and Denmark capturing footage that reveals the disturbing conditions under which fur-bearing animals are raised. The investigation, considered the largest of its kind to date, uncovered a distressing uniformity of suffering in farms raising minks, foxes, and raccoon dogs. The imagery is difficult to witness. It shows animals confined to filthy and barren cages, a stark contrast to their natural habitats. The investigators recorded instances of cannibalism, injured animals left without veterinary care, and some animals that had succumbed to their injuries or living conditions still encaged with survivors. The footage also brings to light the grim reality of animals with severe physical trauma, including missing limbs and tails, painful eye infections, and severe wounds overwhelmed by maggots. psychological torment is as evident as the physical. The footage documents behaviors that speak to severe distress, such as repetitive pacing and self-mutilation, signs indicative of the mental strain placed on these animals. As the EU weighs the decision to ban fur farming, bolstered by a citizen's initiative that has gathered the support of 1.7 million signatories, these findings add a compelling urgency to the debate. Despite fur farmers' claims of high welfare standards and adherence to the welfare certification scheme, the investigation challenges the effectiveness of such measures. The four pillars of welfare, good feeding, behavior, housing, and health, are brought into question by the observable reality on these farms. With a significant portion of EU countries leading the charge by banning fur farming, this investigation places the remaining nations and the EU Commission at a crossroads. The documented evidence speaks volumes, serving as a potent reminder of the horrors faced by animals in the fur farming industry and reinforcing the call for an EU-wide ban. This moment could mark a turning point. The power to end this cruel industry now lies with the European Commission.